Hello fellow Star Citizens, my name is Captain Black Francis. I am going to show you today how to use a couple applications on your Android called Trinus VR and Cardboard Enabler to essentially see Star Citizen in virtual reality. This is going to be awesome, but it's not going to be the same as your Oculus or Vive. Obviously it's not going to be the same resolution. So there are going to be a couple things that you're going to need. Let's start off with our Trinus VR. So Trinus VR is a little application that uh, is made by Odd Sheep Limited and it costs $11.99 to buy. Now to try this out you do not need to purchase this to start with. There is a light version as you can see on the side here. The light version is all you need to try this out so don't worry too much. There is one application though that I would suggest you buy and I'll show you that in two seconds. So Trinus VR you're gonna Essentially install this on your phone, your Gear VR compatible phone, and you're going to download the server. So the free PC server is available from their website. You're going to need to run that as well. Now there's two ways that Trinus can work. You can operate this over Wi-Fi, which is what I'll be using, and you can also operate over USB. The trick is with USB, it's a little bit harder on our Gear VRs because I believe it will not recognize the phone while it's plugged in. So the other thing that I, I would highly suggest, it's only 99 cents, is this CB enabler for Gear VR. So what happens normally is when you plug your phone into your Gear VR, there's a little switch right down here which essentially launches the Oculus app. So. That doesn't allow you to use any sort of cardboard apps. You can essentially lift that tab and place your phone underneath it. It's kind of a cheat way to do it, but Cardboard Enabler allows you to use essentially the sensors built into the Gear VR on cardboard apps. So it actually provides you a much uh, better way to uh, look at VR, and especially cardboard apps. So a couple things it does there. So the other thing you're gonna wanna make sure is that your PC is high enough to run this. Now, to be honest, I do not meet the PC specs. So what they recommend is a fourth generation Intel i5. And if you see on my specs over here, I'm actually using a third generation i5, a 3570K. So yes, it does work, but once again, you're gonna have a little bit uh, lower frame rates and not as high quality. So make sure you get a good PC. All right, everyone, so you've gone ahead and installed your Trinus VR server. We're gonna go ahead and launch that, which I've already done. You can save your profile after you've created it, but uh, what I'm gonna do is just make sure that my head mount is selected to Gear VR option B, which is the size for the Galaxy S6. There is a A option, which is for the Note series. You'll see that right on your Gear VR here. You just need to select the correct one. Now our image size and quality is going to determine our latency. So the higher quality, especially through Wi-Fi, the more latency you're going to find. You're also going to probably see that your head tracking is not working as well. So we can use a sensor output, which is essentially a way to determine how we move or while we move what is used on the, on the screen. So. Star Citizen does support Track IR. I have not been able to get it working with Trinus VR yet. I will still work on that. If I come up with uh, a way, I will let you guys know. Or if you have a way, just leave a comment down below. So I'm gonna just use the mouse setting. We can adjust this sensitivity once we start the server. These two options, the capture mode and the sensor output will be locked, but essentially we don't need to worry about that. And I'll show you how that works. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the server by clicking this button right here. All right, so it's waiting for my phone. And so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring up the Star Citizen Launcher, but we're gonna go onto the phone and we're gonna start up our cardboard for gear. Now I already have this enabled and set up. So when you download this application, essentially you need to set up your phone so that it will work with this app. It's a very easy process. They guide you right through it. So with Cardboard Enabler for Gear VR open, I'm gonna just tap my Cardboard icon there. So now when I insert this into the Gear VR, 
I won't have Oculus's application load immediately. So since Trinus VR is essentially a cardboard app, this is how we need to use it or the best way to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Trinus VR and it says detecting right away. Now, as you can see, it's going to focus on whatever screen is first. So if I click on another application window, it switches to that. So I'm going to go ahead and launch our game. While we're launching, I'm just holding my phone in the VR mode. I'm going to go ahead and insert the phone into the Gear VR. Now you can see the mouse is moving around, which is a response to the setup I made in Trinus VR here. All right, so the game has now launched. The are, there are a couple things you can do to improve the quality of it. We can change our options right here, which is a uh, change the resolution, I should say, through our options. And that will change the perspective and the field of view that you get within uh, Trinus. So I have 1280 by 1024. The natural resolution for each eye is actually quite a bit different. We should have 1280 by 1440, but that is not a resolution option available within Star Citizen. Maybe there is a way to add a custom resolution. I'll have to take a look into that. If you have any ideas, also leave a comment below. So I'm just gonna leave this at the closest resolution I can get to this eye, or to the per eye resolution of the gear. I'm just gonna go back and we can either go to hangar or we can go straight into the universe. But let's just load into the hangar here. I'll put the gear VR back on. And as you can see, the uh, field of view probably is not, well, hopefully you can see, the field of view is not quite as wide as a natural Gear VR app or essentially using an Oculus Air Vive. But this will give us a nice preview before the official VR support gets placed in the game. So I'm on extremely low resolution here. That's because I have a pretty crappy graphics card right now. But you'll notice as I'm walking, there is some latency for sure, but as I rotate my head, you see the view change inside Star Citizen. Now this can be improved by changing those sensitivity uh, settings inside the Trinus VR server, but I'm gonna leave it for now and just take a look inside my van. <laughs> give you a different perspective, that's for sure. So you can use the mouse to move your main vision, but then I can also use my head tracking with mouse movement. So this works very similar to like track IR. I do have track IR and like I said, I wasn't able to get that working. Uh, Star Citizen does support track IR natively, and so that is... Aegis Combat Assist activated. Systems green. So that is another option. I could turn on track IR, put on a headset, and use natural track IR to give me a better um, response as far as rotating my head. Now they're probably introducing another delay, but we'll have to test that out later. So pretty cool, eh? works quite well and if we want we can escape get into electronic access here oh I wish I could do star marine <laughs> but let's load up uh, arena commander and we'll just do a uh, actually a drone sim Oops. so I'm using star citizen alpha 2.3 do some free flight with the Vanguard. What this is like. Oh, right away kicked. Nice bug. Let's try it again.
mode initiated. Aegis combat assist activated. Systems green. Well, you notice as I turn my head, I also have control of the cursor and the aiming point here, so I can actually use this to shoot something. Alright you guys, and that's it. So that's a quick tutorial on how to use Trinus VR, your Gear VR, and the cardboard enabler on your Android to essentially see Star Citizen in VR for real cheap. I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Please leave a comment down below or uh, use my Star Citizen code to uh, get into Star Citizen and try this yourself. The link will be below. Thanks guys.